Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. In this lesson, we'll continue what we started talking about AWS storage. So if you remember, we explained so far block storage, we explained object storage and S3 different storage classes. And that's the final family here talking about file storage. So let's explain what exactly are the file storage. And now for the third type, which is the file storage. And I believe definitely you have dealt with this one before. This is where you have your servers across the network and they are sharing a certain volume through the network that we have. And the types of services that we have here from AWS, the first service, it's called EFS, which stands for Elastic File System. And EFS is a serverless, fully elastic file storage. EFS can create and configure shared file system quickly and simply for AWS compute services. But you need to understand that EFS is only for Linux servers because EFX is using NFS protocol. But if you have Windows servers, then the name of the service here, it's called FSX. And that's the one that you can use for your Windows servers because the underlying protocol is SIFS slash SMB. Great. Next, let's see the characteristics of EFS. So as we explained with EFS, I can have multiple EC2 instances and these EC2 instances are across multiple availability zones, but in the same region. Now they can access the same shared storage file system. Let's see how the architecture looks like. That's exactly how it looks like. So inside my VPC, I have multiple availability zones like this. And for high availability, I have multiple EC2 instances across multiple availability zones. But all of these EC2 instances, they can access this shared file storage that we can have from our EFS. And that's the first type. And we mentioned something very important. EFS. This is mainly for Linux servers because the underlying protocol is using NFS. Now for Windows servers, we have another service that we call it FSX for Windows. So very simply, FSX for Windows. This is a file storage for Windows servers to provide fully managed Microsoft Windows file servers. And then FSX has a native support for the Windows protocol, which is we call the SMB. So either you heard about the term called CIFS, CIFC, or about SMB as protocol, FSX fully supports these two protocols. And that's why FSX is for Microsoft Windows servers to have a shared volume across the network for Microsoft servers. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lessons.